How's it going guys? Today we're actually in Tokyo Prefecture in Edogawa City. Edogawa City, a special ward in Tokyo. Today we will be cycling along the Arakara River. Visit the Kasai Rinkai Park. Gaze at bonsai trees and tower over the entire city for sweeping views while expertly maneuvering across the city. And behind me, we had the Arakara River. So today we're gonna to be exploring our first city in Tokyo. Let's see what this place is known for. Just like last time, we're in the end of uh, November. So again, I'm freezing, but today I actually came prepared. So uh, let's go. Edogawa City is a special ward located in Tokyo Prefecture in Japan. The city takes its name from the Edo River that runs from the north to the south along the western edge of the ward. In English, it takes on the name Edogawa City. I'm okay. Everything's fine. I'm a big boy. No need to cry. Being the expert cyclist that I am, I totally didn't fall. And thankfully, being layered like a bowling ball for this cold weather, I didn't sustain too much damage. All right, so here we are. We're about to cross the bridge right over there. And if you can see that Ferris wheel over there, that's a small hint as to where we're going next. And hopefully, uh, after I fell off my bike, I'm much more aware, much more alert. So hopefully I don't have a little accident on top of the bridge or else I'm gonna get killed on there. <laughs> So uh, let's go. All right, hopefully no accidents, let's go. Oh, it's a tight squeeze, tight squeeze, tight squeeze. I'm not comfortable on this tight crossing. I'm so scared I'm like bump someone off the bridge. Oh, these things are too close for comfort. I'm so scared. All right, here we are still on the Arakara River, but this time we're on the other side. It's a nice, pretty little lake. Keep on cycling. Oh. And in case you're wondering, just a small like hand skin wound thing after falling down, no big deal. So let's uh, hit the road. We're almost there at our first destination, which is that Ferris wheel I showed you earlier. So let's go. And after cycling a little more on the seaside, we finally reach our first destination. Here we are behind me is the Tokyo Sea Life Park. And uh, yeah, it's actually underneath this dome on this beautiful sea line. Let's go check it out. Let's see what kind of cool animals they have. Better be worth it. Cycled for an hour and fell off a bike for this place. So I better, better to see some big fat penguins. That is one ugly fish. That looks crazy behind me. It's just a bunch of big tuna. It's got me a little hungry, but it's also pretty cool. That was so cool. I didn't know tuna can grow up to that big. Like always, those things are massive. After seeing the massive tuna, it's finally time to see the main attraction that I've been looking forward to, penguins. Well, now that I've saw my fair share of penguins, I think I got my mice worth, but let's see what else this place has to offer. Oh my gosh, puffins, they're like OP penguins because they can kind of fly. With the puffins out of the way, it's time to leave the aquarium and I worked up quite an appetite, so let's explore the local cuisine of this fine attraction. Got some food, we got some loco moco actually at Hawaiian Coffee. I'm not too sure why they have this, I wish they were just some normal Japanese food. I'm too hungry to care, so uh, let's just eat. After a hearty meal, it's now time to explore more of this tourist attraction. So here we are at an observation field and right out looking that way you can see a small small island that uh, we're gonna be going across there pretty soon. Also this place has pretty nice views. You can see the aquarium dome that we were just at and if you do a 180 boom there's the ferris wheel. So uh, yeah, let's check out that small island on the other side. Here we are at the Kansai Marine Park. As you can see, it has certain specific opening and closing hours, but to me, this is more like an island. Let's just make it sound more epic. It's the Kansai Marine Island instead. So in order to cross this thing, we first have to go through a massive bridge. Let's see what this little island place has to offer. Let's go. The Kansai Marine Park is known for its shellfish gathering. Of course, being the bad planner that I am, I didn't do research ahead of time, so no shellfish buffet today. No swimming without a permit. Beware of stingrays, tsunami, 
hazard zone. Now I know what I'm looking forward to. I want to see a beach sting right now. <laughs> I just want to see one float out of the water and just plop right there. Oh, I knew the smell was coming from somewhere. I knew it probably wasn't me, but uh, never be too sure. I have been cycling for quite a while now. So yeah, this small island is pretty relaxing. I would recommend you check it out. In the summertime, there's actually like small boat tours that could uh, take you around each of these small individual islands. After finishing a relaxing walk around this windy island, now it's time to get an aerial view of this park. We can't afford to leave this place without checking out that big ass Ferris wheel that we saw the entire way cycling here. So uh, yeah, let's check it out and enjoy the views up on there. All right, after one too many uncomfortable looks from staff, like why aren't you here with kids or why aren't you here with the girlfriend? Well, we're finally on here. So uh, yeah, let's enjoy the views on this Ferris wheel. The diamond and flower ferris wheel standing at 117 meters tall offers nearby views of the aquarium and island that we just visited, as well as distant views of Tokyo Bay and Mount Fuji. See if you can spot these attractions during the ride. Alright, so we're done with sandy beaches and on to the next place, let's go! Uh, so here we are right behind me, we're at the Shun Kankin Bonsai Museum. I've always been a big fan of bonsai since uh, I've always liked the Karate Kid franchise. Mr. Miyagi gave Daniel-san a bonsai, so I'm excited to check this place out, so uh, let's go! The Karate Kid is a martial arts drama film made in 1984. It follows a teenager, Ralph Macchio, who is new in town and is bullied at school. And an old Japanese man teaches him karate to stand up against his bullies and settle their differences in a tournament. So growing up, I always loved the film The Karate Kid. And one of the things that Mr. Miyagi gave Daniel-san was a bonsai tree. But you know, being in America, you could never buy one of these things. It's way too expensive. But being here, it's like reliving a childhood dream. But still, even in Japan, can't afford it. The movie features a specific type of bonsai tree juniper procubbins, and in one of the scenes in the movie, Mr. Miyagi shows Daniel how to find inner peace by trimming bonsai trees. And it also looks as though there's more than just bonsai, there's like different other types of uh, trees as well here, although I can't tell you what they are. Although I couldn't spot a juniper procubbins today, it was still nice to see a cultural and childhood symbol of my favorite film, Karate Kid. Right now we're at the Edogawa Heisei Garden, which was a private area but was donated to the city of Edogawa in 1989, so rather recently, well recently in context of history. It's one of those old Japanese tea houses, so uh, let's check it out. <laughs> Alright, first things first, we gotta find this flippin' place first because this park is about a whole acre large. First find this, this tea house thing. So let's see where it is. Oh, there it is. Even though I know it's not, it does look like a floating uh, tea house on water, which is pretty nice. And apparently there's actually people having a tea ceremony in there. It was a little scary because I don't want to film them and get in trouble. And this water even has like koi and duck in it. It's even got a waterfall. And this is just the tea house. Tea house is already this elaborate. Imagine the actual house would be insane. But I guess they closed it off to the public or they just removed it all together. So I guess we'll never know what it looks like. As usual, really cool place. I uh, would recommend you check it out. Apparently the tea house itself can be rented, but you know, obviously I didn't do that. But yeah, I saw people in there wearing like traditional Japanese clothes, having a little tea ceremony. But now that we're done here, we're gonna head on to the next place. So see you guys in a bit. All right, I've been cycling for about like, five hours now so i think you guys know what i'm ready for so i'll see you guys in the next onsen place uh, onsen here we come all right here we are let's get warm I will not recommend this onsen because this place costs $25. So I'm also not going to give you the location of where this is because uh, it was pretty bad. It was like $25. Usually I'd probably eat at the place too, but I felt like I was getting ripped off enough. Uh, $25, nothing too crazy within the onsen. Didn't really want to get ripped off again with the food. I did find something that's probably better than any food we could have found inside there. So I'll see you in a bit. And it's McDonald's, the best sustenance a man could buy. So this time the burger looks a little bit more promising than last time. Last time was just a double cheeseburger. This time we got onion rings and bacon and other stuff, so that's nice. Meal of champions. 
Okay, so the burger itself was fine. The sauce was the thing. I don't know what the sauce was, but the sauce was just really awful. Two awful experiences at McDonald's. And it, maybe we'll go for a third next time. All right, uh, food done, onsen done, but there is one last place I'd like to show you guys. Once again, it has a great view. And it's the last place we're gonna go today, then after that, we're gonna be done for the day. So uh, let's hop on our bike and uh, hurry on to the last place. So see you then. All right, now we're at the Tower Hall Funambari, which is, as you can see behind me, another city view. So I thought I'd end off the day here so we can see all the places that we visited today. Today, we cycled along the Arakara River, the Kansai Rinkai Park, which had the Ferris Wheel Aquarium in the island, the Shunkan Bonsai Museum, the Heisei Garden Park, and the Onsen place that shall not be named. And finally, the place that we're currently at, the Tower Hall Funambari. I have all the places in the description box below. Now that the day's finally ended, it kind of just dawned on me how much distance I covered today. And I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of myself, even though I'm very sore and very tired right now. It's uh, gonna be all for me today. I'm just gonna spend a couple more minutes up here enjoying the view and then I'm, uh, I'm gonna head on home. So hopefully you enjoyed this video as well. Uh, please subscribe, it would help me a lot with this channel. Uh, it helps me stay consistent, knowing that there's people subscribed who want to watch my video so I don't get lazy. This is Edogawa City, the first uh, city that we visited in Tokyo. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, I just want to wish everyone a happy 2023. Uh, I plan to release this before the New Year's, but you know, things got in the way. But anyways, thanks for watching the video and supporting me, and I hope to make even better videos in 2023. So, uh, see ya!